Alright, this time we want to have a look at the new and improved goal seek command. What they've done is they've taken the old 2D goal seek command and they've improved it to work with full 3D uh, variables and that kind of stuff. So we'll take this ordinary old trailer that we've been working on and we'll put, for example, a water tank on the trailer. Now, I want to use capture fit or the previously captured fit in order to position this tank on the trailer and I'll just add a center plane relationship between the center of the tank and the two edges of the of the sheet. Now if we bring up our variable table and I'll just sort these by value You'll notice that I've got the value of 600 millimetres from the rear of the tray. That's it just here. And I'm just going to rename that for easier identification later on. So I've done that. But what I may want to do is I may want to control the size of this tank so that it's not going to exceed the GVM when the tank is full. Uh, it's a fairly important feature if you like. So before we can work that out, you know, I've got a four ton GVM, I need to know the weight of the trailer. So we'll have a look. The weight of the trailer before I put the tank on was 447 kilograms, close enough to 400, 550. So I'll update that weight. We'll see what it's at now with the, with the new tank. So as soon as that updates, 3,780 kilograms. Now if we've got a 4 tonne GVM, we can increase the storage capacity of this tank a little bit. Um, so I'll just close that. We'll come in and we'll edit the tank assembly. Because what I want to do, you can see that the water level in the tank is set to 1,000 millimeters. I bring up the goal seek. I want to change the mass of this overall assembly so that it equals 4 ton minus 550 kilograms for the trailer, 3450. Currently the mass is 3233. Now I want to make this change by altering the liquid height in the tank. I'll just say OK. Solid Edge then goes away and works out the different iterations of the liquid height. Now with this particular tank, the overall height of the tank is tied to the liquid height so we don't have customers you know, overfilling the tank and then complaining that the trailer broke. So what we want is a complete solution and Solid Edge is just working out in the background the different heights, there you see it's finished, reported 23 iterations, 29 seconds. The new liquid height is 1056 millimeters, giving my new target weight value. So we've now got the weight of this tank correct. However, as you're probably aware, you need to get the positioning of the tank right with respect to the wheels, otherwise you know you'll load the vehicle too much, it'll be unstable. So this time we'll perform a goal seek on the entire assembly and what we'll do, we want to change the center of mass in the X direction so that it is just a little bit forward of the center of the bogey. Now the center of the bogey is our zero position. It's currently 250 millimeters, the center of mass. I might want to bring that down to 200 millimeters. And I might want to change from rear to do this. Now I've got various goal seek options. I can set this to whatever I want. In this case, I'll, I'll give it two minutes to be able to work it out. And I'll set it off working this out. Now keep in mind, for every single iteration, 
it's updating the position of the tank you can see it moving there slightly it's updating the position of the tank and then recalculating the entire mass and the entire center of mass of this assembly to give us the desired result that we're after and you can see it's just moving backwards and forwards and it will zero in on the correct position in order to give us exactly the target center of mass that we're looking for so it takes out all of that all of the painful calculation the you know if I do this then what about that the 3d goal seek can also be applied to for example volumes if I wanted this to to give to enable me to carry 3,000 liters exactly then instead of doing the tank goal seek with mass I would have done it with volume or something like that so you've got a number of different options um, in order to set this up to achieve exactly what you're looking for and you see when when it's finished it will give you the feedback down the bottom here as to how many iterations and how much time that took to solve and it will be positioned in the correct spot now it does take a little bit longer when you're doing center of gravity and center of mass and that kind of stuff on a large assembly because each iteration it needs to calculate the entire center of gravity and mass so while this is happening oh it's finished there 22 iterations 117 seconds so that is now positioned you can see the center of mass is now at 200 millimeters in front of the wheels I can do it's just then close that and that's positioned the tank in the correct spot and I can go and have a look at my value it's now 541 millimeters in front of the rear of the of the trailer so very very powerful new goal seek functionality so that's all for the 3d goal seek I'll hand back to you again Barry Thanks.